Hey everybody, this is Jorik. Welcome back to my channel, Portugal and Beyond. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Today's topic is going to be transferring or exchanging a driver's license from your home country to Portugal. Now, I'm going to show you the steps to do that. I'm not going to show you what a Portuguese driver's license looks like because we did these steps a year ago and we still don't have our license. But I still want to make sure that you at least know what the steps are to be able to go exchange your license. So first things first, you're going to go to this website and then I'll put a link in the description for you as well. But once you get into that website, you're going to uh, click over to the right and look at exchange of foreign driver's license. So once you click that button, uh, it will show you kind of what you need and what the process is to go through that. Um, you will, as you're looking through that, there's a little blue, uh, it should say a key instead of AQ apostrophe UI, but you click that and a form will come up. And I looked at the form, whether you're from an EU country or a non-EU country, and the form is the same thing. Um, but let's go through it just so you realize what you need. So name, date of birth, uh, country of, of birth, your tax ID, so you do need to have that, your residence card, the ID on your residence permit, and then the email, phone number, things of that nature, pretty basic background info, your address, your current driver's license, and the country that it's been issued in. All of that's pretty rudimentary and simple. Then the next one, this one where they ask you to download documents, a couple of things. They need to be in PDF format, so not in Word or other, they have to be in PDF. But the Certificate of Authenticity, uh, in the U.S. it's called an apostille. I don't know in other countries what it might be called, but it's basically a certification that says uh, the driver's license is valid and we've had it validated by the state that we were in. So it kind of had a seal on it and it's almost like a notary, but it's, it's called an apostille. So we uh, submitted that document in the Certificate of Authenticity. The copy of the identification document, I made a copy of the apostille, the driver's license, um, and then I also made a copy of, of the, there was a little statement testimonial from the person who apostilled the document that said it was a legitimate document. So I submitted that information there copy of the driver's license so I made a I had the copy from the apostille so I just uh, took a photo of that and submitted it there psychological assessment you don't need that unless you're going to be driving large trucks semis things of that nature my guess is most of you that are coming here are probably going to be driving cars or you're going to be retired you're not going to be driving big rigs and vehicles but if you are you do need to have a psychological assessment the electronic medical certificate, you do need a physical or you do need to go see a doctor and a doctor needs to sign off that says that you're good to go. Now, that's a medical doctor. I will say this, I did not need to go see an eye doctor. And the weird thing is, is I have eyeglasses and I've had them since I was three. So it's surprising I didn't need that. My wife who doesn't need eyeglasses did need to get an eye exam. So she needed to submit a medical form plus her optometrist form, which is kind of weird. And then under the others, because we've been waiting a year to get our license and we have to keep, we keep going through this, I submitted all the emails over the past year that said, it's been three months, six months, nine months, uh, just because there's a period of time that says, if you don't get all this stuff done, then you have to do the driving lessons and exam all in Portuguese. And we're not quite there yet to be able to do that. So you can put something there or others can be blank. Basically, you put in your date of residence. So that's on your residence card when you were technically legal. And away you go. So that's what you do to be able to submit the information to be able to exchange your driver's license from whatever country into Portugal. Um, there have been recent doc, uh, or excuse me, articles, uh, documentation, but articles that say that they're six months to eight months behind. Well, we can tell you they're over a year behind when it comes to exchanging a license. So if that's very important to you, if you're going to be coming to Portugal to live uh, and you need a car, 
couple of things. I would make sure that you have your driver's license from your home country. If you're coming from the United States, you can always go to AAA and get, I think it's a small fee, five, ten dollars get an international driver's license. So that makes sure that you're uh, okay for at least a year while you're here, while you're waiting for that exchange. So it's just uh, part of the world that we live in. And as we're learning after being here for two years, sometimes the bureaucracy, we kind of just throw up our arms and just say, it's Portugal. So the, these are the steps to be able to exchange your driver's license. Hopefully, when you're coming to Portugal and you do it, you'll be able to get your license uh, exchanged and get a Portuguese license much faster than we are. So hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a great day.